Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have some doll news, because that's all we talk about on this channel. A new Skelector was announced, as well as teased the day before, so may as well show you guys that as well. And stock photos of Holiday Draculaura have finally been released, because I'm assuming this doll was close to release, because people have been able to buy her from a reseller, but you know, they bought her. Let's just get into it. So first up, we have the Skelector, who was leaked through this post, kind of. It was implied, because she tagged Universal Original Monsters, and she saw The Bride of Frankenstein, and then this was posted today. So I'm counting this as a teaser before we got this teaser that actually shows the dolls. So if you guys remember, earlier this year, we received Dracula, who was the first Skelector of 2022 and was themed around the Universal Original Monsters, who are, you know, like just a group of classic monsters. I believe included in that group um, is Frankenstein, Dracula, the creature from the Black Lagoon, and the Wolfman, aka the Werewolf. So, you know, I think that was the theme for this year, but because this year is coming to an end, I don't think we'll be getting the Wolfman and the creature from the Black Lagoon. There's always a chance they'll do it next year, but for now, no idea. So as we can see, um, Frankenstein is going to be a guy. You can tell because he has very large hands. So unlike Dracula, who was gender bent, I believe this time we are going to be receiving our first male Skelector doll. And it looks like he's going to be pretty accurate to the way Frankenstein looks in the movies. So maybe we could expect them to use like the Manny slash Hexakaya body. I don't know. Just some kind of larger body to give him that classic Frankenstein silhouette. And it seems that the Bride of Frankenstein has the regular Monster High body, as well as the clawed hands that both Rochelle and Claudine used. As well as the Werecats on some occasions. So, there's not much to go off of here, but I'm very excited to see these dolls revealed, and you guys can expect another video from me when we get official pictures. For now though, this is all we got. So, let's move on to the other thing. That's right, we finally have stock photos of Halliday Draculaura. I didn't feel like using other people's review photos to talk about this doll, so instead I waited for stock photos, and they came out faster than I expected. I don't know, usually it seems like we only get stock photos after, like, we've seen the dolls months in advance, pretty much. Because that's kind of what happened with Cheat 3. We started seeing them, like, in the middle of the summer, and then the dolls came out kind of in September. People were finding them in September, but they officially released this month in October, and we only got the stock photos, like, I think it was in September, like late September, we finally got to see the stock photos of the dolls. I'm not sure. I don't remember the exact timeline, but this was pretty quick, getting to see this Draculaura's stock photos. So, I don't believe the doll looks exactly like the stock photos. I think the screening changed slightly. But I don't have any, like, pictures of the doll in real life that I can pull up. It's just that her face looks so different in the box than it actually looks here. So, now that we actually get to see all of her details up close, she looks incredible. I absolutely love the chest piece that they gave her. I don't know what to call that. It, like, it's like a necklace. I thought it was going over her shoulders. Okay. If it doesn't go over her shoulders, then it's not a- it's just a necklace, I think. Like, a really big necklace. Whatever it is, I really like it. I do wish that they'd painted the heart in the middle, though, which is what have made it stand out a bit more. But as it is, it looks great. I really like her earrings as well. They've got bat wings on them, and the little heart on her cheek is black with a spiderweb snowflake over top of it. So cute. I absolutely love the details of her dress. I like the silhouette of the doll. I really like the, um, train on her skirt. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called when you've got like that big long skirt piece on your dress? Like a train? A trail? I feel like train is wrong. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I really don't. I'm pretty sure that it is printed with snowflakes that kind of have a spiderweb look to them as well. Her dress as a whole looks really nice and those gloves are so cute. I really just love everything that I'm seeing. I like the belt, too. I feel like that really ties the dress and everything else together. And these shoes are so cute. Like, I do wish that they'd been kind of, like, laced up at the front. It would be a nice reference to Draculaura's basic doll, 
but I really like the design of the heels. It's super cute. Everything I'm seeing here, I just love it. I'm excited to see what else we're going to get from the holiday line, because it's been confirmed that there's going to be a Cleo and Deuce two-pack under the theme of love, so, you know, it's probably going to be a Valentine's Day release, which means that we're most likely going to be seeing it very soon. Um, I believe the expected release date for that pack is January, so I feel like we'll definitely see something relating to them before the end of the year. Possibly right at the end of the year. You never know. But, you know, Draculaura. Looks really good. And of course, these photos are way better than what we had before, which was just a super blurry one. Um, I think as time has gone on, I've come to really like the hair and what they did with it. It's cute. It kind of looks like the way they would have drawn her hair in the cartoon, like in the original Monster High th um, 2D animated show. And I think that's why I like it so much. It looks like something they would do in the show. So, you know, it's cute. It's like they're bringing her cartoon counterpart to life, almost. Um, I wanted to say something about the box. It's a really cute design. I really like all the snowflakes and spider webs on the outside. I think it's actually kind of cool that they put the logo, like, right in the middle of the packaging. Some people didn't like that, but I think it's cool. Um... Why do I think it's cool? I don't know. I think it just occupies more space. She's got these big empty spaces next to her. I think it would have been nice if she came with like a purse, maybe an umbrella or something. I know an umbrella isn't practical for snowy weather, but you know, just anything to fill up those spaces next to her, pretty much. I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. The doll is set to retail at about $40. And it's unknown whether or not she's going to be an online exclusive or if she'll be in stores. So far in my area, I never find G1 dolls. Like, I have never seen the Cree productions in person. I only got those because I got to order some from Walmart before they went out of stock. And I got some from Mattel. That was it. <laughs> So, while it would be nice to find this doll in stores, I don't know how likely it's going to be. But, you know, we can always keep our fingers crossed. Somebody took her scanner, which I do not have, unfortunately. But it is out there, so I'm sure you could find it maybe on Reddit or something. Twitter? I don't know. But uh, somebody took her scanner to Wal- not Walmart, Target. And she came up forty two ninety nine. So... She's somewhere in that price range, $32.99 or $42.99. Not $32, $39.99. But, um, yeah. Yeah, she's set to be about that much. So that's it. That's all we got for now. This one photo of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's bride's hand. Does the bride of Frankenstein have a name? You know what, I think I'm gonna Google that right now. Bride of Frankenstein name. Um, her name is Elizabeth. Okay, says that her name is Elizabeth, apparently. So, that's fun. So it's Frankenstein and Elizabeth, aka the Bride of Frankenstein. Fun. And Draculaura, of course. So... Yeah, I think that about does it. I think I rambled too much in this video. Sorry, I cannot think straight right now as I have awful cramps, but I wanted to make a video now because I know I'm not going to want to do it later. So, sorry. As usual, feel free to comment your thoughts on these dolls in the comments below. I like hearing what y'all have to say. What? How much do you think the Collector Pack is going to cost? The last time we got a Collector 2 Pack, it was Beetlejuice and Lydia, and I believe they cost, what was it, $90? You think they're going to do that again? Maybe. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Feel free to comment your thoughts on whatever we discussed in it, and yeah, bye!